is 2.40 a.m., which is way, way, way too late. I did not mean to stay up this late, but I just really need to read and try and catch up. I'm ridiculously like, behind on my TBR. The good news is I did finish 4.50 for Paddington. This is for the prompt reading a book plus watching new TV or movie adaptation. I haven't watched the adaptation yet, but I will be doing that before the week is over. I was going to go to bed after that, which I probably should have, but instead I picked up The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter and I read two more chapters, bringing me to page 93, chapter 6. I feel like if I sum up enough determination and focus for today, I can finish this book. It is 1025. I have my cantaloupe with me and I'm ready to read. Definitely working on this one today. Also gonna start this one, specifically the first book, Her Royal Spiness. This is only 222 pages. Now the pages are big and the font is a little smaller, but still, if I alternate between the books, I should be able to finish at least one of them today. No nonsense today. Reading only. Just wanted to pop in for a quick update. I did take a brief break from reading to update my stats on the Reading Rush website because it is now working. Also, my mom brought me coffee beans, so I have my frappuccino and I have my picnic box. So back to reading. I know I'm supposed to be reading, but something exciting just came out. The Zombieland 2 trailer. We're finally getting the sequel. I don't even know what time it is. I just went inside to put my books away and cool off and I didn't check the time but I think I'm about to head inside for good because it's hot. <laughs> I think I got enough color for the day so yeah. Definitely sunnier and hotter than it was yesterday and not that overcast. here to give you your video challenge. This video challenge is to show off or create your own reading nook. I want you to show off the little details about it or you could even show off you setting up your reading nook. So I'm going to be personally setting up my own reading nook to give you some sort of idea of what to do for this video but I just want you to let your creativity run free. So I have a couple of notes that I want to share with you to explain the whole reading challenge a little bit more. The first thing that I want you to do is to show off your reading space. I also want you to show off your specific reading snacks or drinks that you usually have while you're reading. And then I want you to show off your favorite aspect of your reading space. And then I want you to answer the question. You could do this in like a voiceover. You could do this before you show off your reading nook. When do you read most often? Do you read in the morning? Do you read in the afternoon after you get back from work or from school? Or do you read at night?
first things first about my reading nook. I'm not always drinking or eating when I'm reading. If anything, I have a bottle of water by the side of my bed. Aside from water, which is always available, my go-to reading snack and drink of choice come from any number of coffee shops. Usually Starbucks or Coffee Bean. At Starbucks, iced lattes, frappuccinos, refreshers, and a protein box. Coffee Bean, a frappuccino, and a picnic box. My favorite part of my reading space is my sweet sequels blanket which as you saw has book covers all over it this was custom made just for me the body in the library by agatha christie which was the first agatha christie book i ever read crocodile on the sandbank this is the first elizabeth peters book i ever read and the amelia peabody mystery series has become one of my absolute favorites redeeming love by francine rivers a must read if you love christian fiction and Christian romance. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This is a new love for me. I did not grow up with Harry Potter. I actually just finished the series for the first time ever this year. I am experiencing everything for the first time and absolutely loving that I finally know everything that everyone is talking about in the HP fandom. Anne of Green Gables, one of my favorite classics of all time. Series of Unfortunate Events. This is one of my favorite favorite book series in childhood and I still love rereading it whenever I am in the mood. Secret of the Old Clock by Caroline Keene. From the time I was learning to read chapter books all the way up to now the age of 25, I still love Nancy Drew the Girl Detective. Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. I have actually not read this entire series. I just read The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe for the first time, I believe it was last year or early this year. I absolutely Absolutely loved it and I can't wait to actually read the series. Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. This is my favorite classic of all time. I can't even tell you how many times I actually read this growing up. I love it so much and I reread it recently and I still love it. For all your bookish merch needs, I would highly recommend Sweet Sequels. The art is gorgeous and you need one of these blankets in your life if you love books. When do I read the most? Morning, afternoon, night. I'd like to say that during the day I fly through books, but unfortunately... <sighs> I usually kick into hyperdrive at the worst possible time. For example, last night or the night before, I had been having problems reading The Complete Tales of Winnie the Pooh all day. And then when I was exhausted and falling asleep, suddenly I was flying through the pages. If I can push through, I end up staying up way too late and finishing a book which is not healthy. That's just what happens to me because I am naturally a night owl. So I guess that's why my reading senses kick in at that time. Very inconvenient, but also one of the coziest times to read. So it has its pros and its cons. I hope you've enjoyed exploring my reading space. Of course, I don't read here all the time, but most of the time, this is where the magic happens. Now I have to get back to reading. So I will see you later. That is the end of day four. Didn't finish any books today. I did, however, finish my book to movie adaptation, 450 from Paddington, so I can check that officially off the list and add my badge to my Reading Rush profile on the website. I might try and read one chapter in each of my books before I go to bed, but that is an update 
for the day five vlog. So stay tuned for that.